Hey, good morning, you guys. So check this out. Um, I've always heard about you know people talking about if they eat a high protein diet, you get a metabolic advantage, and so you don't have to work out as much because the protein's going to take care of the uh, fat loss for you and all that stuff. This is why you come to my channel. Only seven thousand seven hundred subs. The information I'm about to reveal, no other channels have revealed it, and studies haven't put it together. See, studies come out. I'm that I'm that synergizer. I'm the guy who actually disseminates the information, puts it together, and there's nothing to lose in my information because it's plain, it's safe, and smart. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No harm done. If I'm right, I could prevent harm from being done. Now, here's the logic. Again, this Denver conference is going to be cutting edge, folks. I'm telling you right now. I'm looking at an abstract right now from the, um, which is going to be on uh, June 2nd, which is from 11 to 12:30. And it's called the Association of Physical Activity and Sedentary Behavior with Hyperuricemia, Uric Acid Levels. What does that have to do with? Well, protein, one of the byproducts, I believe, is it's uh, involved with ammonium metabolism. And uric acid is one of the byproducts of metabolizing protein. Now, studies have been inconclusive on protein and uric acid. We get that. And there needs to be more research. But there is a st if you look at the video description, I will post one study that I just came across that found that there was an association with animal proteins, particularly seafood, and um, fish, I believe, and uric acid levels, higher uric acid levels. Now, you, so we have an elevation of uric acid or a positive um, you know, relationship between um, uric acid and animal protein. And now we have a positive relationship from this Denver Conference abstract. They found a, a positive relationship between sedentary behavior and, and elevated uric acid levels. So what does that, so at the beginning of this video, what did I just tell you? You have people who want to do the high-protein diet and just kind of slack up on cardio thinking that they're just going to diet off the weight. That's why I say it's better to burn off the weight, clean up the diet, optimize health. See, I look at health. I don't just look at weight loss. You know, it's kind of comprehensive. So it's kind of the coolest bias you can possibly have because I'm looking out for human health interest in addition to meeting goals. So perhaps compromises are made, but not at the expense of health. And, 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 and health is true wealth. That's the, that's the, it's the gift that keeps, keeps on giving. You know what I mean? So if you think about it, you have elevated, possibly elevated uric acid levels from high protein intake, particularly from animal sources, and then you're going to compound that with sedentary behavior, not doing as much cardio or thinking, you know, you're just going to burn the fat with diet. Now you really kind of double fold increase in the risk of elevated uric acid levels and how that affects pH in the body and perhaps, re and perhaps renal acid overload. Again, guys, um, this is one, one of many abstracts. This is actually in press. It hasn't even been published yet. Okay? I will probably come back to this video months later and I will put the actual study at the, in the video description. But right now I'll list a study on, um, in fact, I'll just link up the actual abstract to this on the actual Denver conference website and then as it comes out on PubMed I'll probably edit it if I remember to do that. Again guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is just a little little nutrition or a health uh, and fitness nugget of information. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Again. So the uh, bottom line is physical activity is important. Uh, it supports diet. It should not be um, uh, it should not be exclusive to diet. It should not be uh, kind of an optional thing. I would say that it's 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 very important, and uh, and there's more research coming out on that. There's been a lot of press on how diet's more important than exercise. And look, in a lot of ways it is. And I know the whole saying of 80% of this is diet, but there's a lot of things coming out on exercise that really kind of focuses on health and how we can facilitate the ability to how we process calories and and how we how the diet impacts us. So. You know what I mean? How our body interprets diet can be influenced by how we, how our physical activity is, and vice versa. So it's a fascinating so relationship. In a nutshell, guys, I just want to close and say that um, this study found that exercise, particularly being physically active, lowers the risk of having high uric acid levels. Um, they found that increased sedentary time and um, you know just just more time being sedentary was associated with a higher uh, higher risk of having higher levels of uric acid. So, you know, the saying of like exercise flushes out toxins and kind of flushes things out. Well, in a sense, it kind of flushes out uric acid, um, which is really phenomenal. By the way, there's a caveat to this. 
it's not just all animal food. It's actually been shown, and not for whatever reason, but it is a caveat, but nonetheless, that's what the evidence has showed, that dairy reduces uric acid levels. So uh, that's just a little caveat there. Um, the studies are out there to support that. Um, also, just a plant-based diet will also reduce it as well. There are some vegetables. Uh, I'm not sure which ones they are, but you know, certain ones. could be the nightshades. Who knows? You, one of those caveat vegetables. Again, all things in moderation, quite frankly, um, is going to be the best bet with that. And so I just wanted to kind of, you know, kind of be clear in, in summarizing it. That exercise has phenomenal benefits. This is uh, an excellent study on how exercise can be beneficial in buffering, um, you know, uric acid production that could be from diet or other factors. So thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time.